ho, hello. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing it again here on Channel Red Breast. We are counting down top tens of 2021. And as you know, if you are familiar with the channel, we talk about hip hop, we talk about sneakers. I already did a top 10 sneakers of 2021. If you have not seen that, please go check it out. If you are familiar with the show, you know that that's what we are all about here. I broke down what I thought are the top 10 hip hop albums of this year, 2021. Okay, now first, there is always honorable mentions with every list. These are some albums that I figured could have made the list, maybe, but didn't quite make it for whatever particular reason. Uh, some honorable mentions I would give a shout out to is, you know, and some of them are gonna sound crazy, but hey man, if you put out heat, you put out heat. Honorable mention goes to Polo G, Hall of Fame. Album is fire, didn't quite make the list. Shout out to Lloyd Banks, The Course of the Inevitable. I'm not joking, Lloyd Banks' album from 2021 is easily his best work, easily. Um, but it is so good that I almost thought it made top 10 albums of the year. Whatever's clever, check it out if you don't believe me. Another honorable mention we have is Boldy James and The Alchemist. They put out their album called Bo Jackson. That album is so good, I actually can't believe it didn't make the list. I might have to question myself after going through it. The Boldy and Alchemist album, Bo Jackson might even have to get bumped up. But anyways, for now, those are the honorable mentions. Without further ado, do let's get busy. Coming through at number 10 is a face that is familiar to probably even your grandmama. We are gonna give it to Snoop Doggy Dog, The Streets to the Sweets. His 2021 album is super dope. And I know that a lot of people probably looked past it. A lot of people are not checking for Snoop musically at this point. I mean, don't get me wrong, millions of people are checking for Snoop, but like his musical heyday is past. I'm telling you, check this Streets to the Sweets album. It makes the top 10 list in at number 10. Number nine slot goes to West Side Gun, Hitler Wears Hermes 8, the eighth installment of this mixtape series, but this is an unbelievable project. West Side Gun's 2021 project, check it out. It is unbelievable. Moving on. At number eight, we are gonna give it to Tyler the Creator, Call Me If You Get Lost. DJ Drama Mixtape, it's totally an album. Listen to this album. Even if you're not a Odd Future, Tyler the Creator kind of guy, which I don't know why you're not. I mean, they're just dope. Um, this record is unbelievable. Call Me If You Get Lost is phenomenal. It deserves to be on this list. I wanted to put it higher, but there's some serious heat keeping it here at number eight, so. There we go. Number seven, Larry June, The Orange Print. Larry June is super dope. I don't, I can't sit here and explain to you guys how dope he is. If you don't know who Larry June is, do your homework, check it out. His album, The Orange Print, is phenomenal. Take a listen to it. Coming in at number six, we have J. Cole, The Off Season. Yep, J. Cole made the list. J. Cole dropped an album. He's one of the GOATs. Quick disclaimer, Kendrick hasn't dropped yet this year. I'm recording this in late October, so there's still time for Kendrick to drop this year. Disclaimer, anything that drops November, December, which could be some crazy albums of the year, let's just keep it real. I couldn't put it on the list. I'm filming it a little bit too early. So let's say albums of the year up until October first week. Yada da 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 me. Anyways, number six on this list is J. Cole's Off Season. The project, to no surprise, is absolutely bonkers. Listen to it if you haven't. If you have, tell me what you think about it. We're getting into the meaty part of the top 10 hip hop albums of 2021 here. Number five, Freddie Gibbs' Pinata. Self-explanatory, if you guys aren't effing with Freddie, I don't know what you're doing. If you haven't been listening to Freddie, all of his projects, I don't know what you were doing, but listen to Pinata, it dropped 2021. It should maybe even be higher. This is this shows you how dope this year was, that Pinata is only number five. Moving on, taking the number four slot. My real hip hoppers are gonna be very happy with this pick. We are giving it to Czarface and MF Doom's collaborative album, Super What. 
I'm not gonna break it down, just listen to it. If you don't like that, don't talk to me. Zarface, MF Doom, Super What album is phenomenal. That takes the number four slot. Coming in at number three, I can't believe this didn't take number one. Coming in at number three, Benny the Butcher, The Plugs I Met 2. The second installment of The Plugs I Met. Check out all his albums, but his 20, he had two servings in 2021, but The Plugs I Met 2, it, I can't believe it's not number one. It is number three, there we go. Moving on, number two, the second best hip hop album of 2021 is, Another second installment by Nas, King's Disease. Nas's King's Disease 2 is the best work Nas has done since it was it written. Some might stick up for Stillmatic or, or something, but I'm telling you, this is the best work since his first couple. I love this record, he killed it. Nas is in fine shape, he's in fine form. He's basically like Eminem last year. He's like Eminem in 2020. Better than he's ever been. M's album would have made the list had it not come out in 2020, but we're doing 2021. Nas's King's Disease 2 takes the second slot easily. It also could have been number one, to be honest. Now. I said earlier, Kendrick didn't drop this year, so he would just slide into number one without a doubt. I don't even need to listen to the ish to know that he would have taken it. But without all that blither blather, he has a sibling, a cousin, who goes by the name of Baby Keem. And folks, the number one hip hop album of 2021 goes to Baby Keem. This record is phenomenal. Baby Keem's album, is so good that if you haven't heard it, please just go listen to it now. If it's too much for you, don't talk to me. He's Kendrick's cousin. The album, oh, I'm sorry. The name of the album is The Melodic Blue. Folks, the number one hip hop album in 2021 is Baby Keem, The Melodic Blue. That is my list. That is the top 10 hip hop albums of 2021. I know you guys disagree. So please, down in the comments down below, tell me what you think I got right. Tell me what you think I got wrong. Tell me if you're a Migos fan or a Drake or a Kanye fan and you noticed none of their albums are on this list because I think my picks were pretty accurate. The only thing hard was that there was so many dope projects. Like I said, the honorable mentions, AZ dropped Door Die 2. I didn't even put that on the list or the honorable mentions. It makes me feel blasphemous. Anyways, I don't want to blab too long. Thank you for checking out Channel Red Breast. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. We enjoy ourselves here talking about hip hop, talking about sneakers. We have a regular show that comes out every two weeks called The Red Breast Show with yours truly, Robin Dory. So by all means, become a part of the team. Click up, lick up, and let's do this. Um, I hope you enjoyed the top 10. Check out the top 10 sneakers of 2021 if you haven't seen those yet. This was top 10 hip hop albums of 2021. Robin Dory signing out. Oh yeah, shout out to Bones and shout out to Team Up. Let's get it. New season of the Red Breast Show coming in 2022. Show you right.